amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So we're doing another what I eat in a week video and I'm going to be tracking my calories as best as I can. Don't know how it'll go, but it'll be to the best of my abilities. It'll all just be estimates really. The caloric intake will be in the description box below because I know that sometimes seeing the calories can help people. Kyo, he does this on purpose, I'm telling you. Uh, sometimes seeing the calories can help people, which is why I do it. I show the calories and I show myself eating to let people know that it's okay to eat and you deserve to eat and you're worthy of food that you enjoy. But I know also seeing the calories, no matter how high or low they can be, can trigger people as well. So they're gonna be in the description box and you can decide on your own if you wanna see them. Just got back from the grocery store. I am very hungover today because we did a drinking stream last night and it was super fun. I did a Viper cosplay. Let me get you down before you even try. Uh, we did Viper cosplay, we played Valorant. I was very unsober and I'm not feeling too great this morning. It's like 3.15 p.m. I woke up at like nine feeling terrible, stayed in bed for a while, went to the grocery store and now we're here. So now we're just making some food. I'm starving. I really want something like savory and salty. So we're doing bacon, egg and cheese on a bagel with french fries on the side. I've been having this meal a lot lately and I got those like just egg patties. They are great in a pinch. Honestly, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these folded just egg patties and they're great. I also, so I do bacon, egg, cheese, butter, salt and pepper and ketchup on the bagel sandwich. Cause that's how I used to eat it when I was growing up and it's just perfect way to start your day. You know, the other day I had oatmeal again and I really enjoyed it. Am I like back on my oatmeal kick? You guys might see it again this week. You guys have seen this meal so many times before. It's even worth showing. I'm gonna show you anyway, because it looks beautiful and I never get tired. Got Stephanie Sue in my ear. Tell me about murders as I eat. It's a good day. So my hair looks so flat. Oh my God, my head looks flat. Whatever. So I'm gonna make some dinner. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. I really wanna make raboki. Today's like hangover day and raboki is like ideal. You guys watched me eat oatmeal for seven years. Some of you guys. Some of you guys watched me eat oatmeal for seven years. So you guys won't mind raboki for a few days, right? Uh, I will make something. I'll make something different tomorrow. I promise. Mwah. Oh, I forgot to have mushrooms. Oh my gosh. So here's the rapoki, which is just tteokbokki with ramyeon. I added tofu and some mozzarella cheese. It's gonna be delicious. I would usually add mushrooms, but I just totally forgot because I'm just a dummy. You have stolen my heart, oh yeah. Yeah, I got all the feels for sure. Yeah, I got the feels for ya. <laughs> God, I took a fat nap. Did I mention that? After breakfast, oh my God, I passed out. And I woke up at like 7 p.m. I woke up feeling a lot better. Can't really complain. I just hope it didn't ruin my sleep schedule even more. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. My uh, footage is just gone. Don't know what happened there. It said my memory card got corrupted. All I did was change my battery. It says my, my memory card is corrupted. But anyway, I'm saying that I'm in a rush. <laughs> Not really in a rush. So I woke up, I wanted to go to the gym. However, I had to like bring some packages up and I brought up like five heavy ass packages up two flights of stairs. So I'm gonna consider that my workout for the day. And now I have to stream and I'm having a bagel with cream cheese. And I don't know where that footage went. I don't know why it got deleted. All I did was change my battery. That was weird. Mm. So I just finished streaming. Had a really good stream. Honestly, we just ended up talking. If you guys were there, I mean, you would know. We ended up just chatting for hours, bro. Like, it was honestly so nice just to sit there and talk to you guys. My favorite. I haven't had these in a while. Gotta think about what I want for dinner. I could have noodles or I could have like pasta. What should I have? I think we're gonna make noodles because I bought hella bok choy. I love having bok choy with noodles. That is steamy. Here's my dinner. Actually, I feel like I haven't had noodle soup in a hot minute. I did change my shirt to get more comfortable. Hi, Bomi. Gonna join me? I've given up. Kyo? The thing, Bomi's on my lap. I don't wanna keep her on my lap. If I get up, he'll move. Oh boy, I've tried all I can do, I feel at this point. He's just a problem child. That's okay. Mm -hmm. 
So for dessert, I wanted a cookie, but I also want a popsicle. I've been really craving like fruity popsicles at the end of the night. So I heated up a chocolate chip cookie. Mmm, they're so good. Mmm, there are these mango fruit bars. This is gonna hit the spot. Like, I don't know what it is. I've been craving fruit, but not actual fruit at the end of the night. Like I want it in a popsicle form. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym. It's almost 3 p.m. I actually, I've been productive today. Y'all be proud of me. I woke up at like 9.30ish, um, did some school stuff. Uh, I did the laundry, I cleaned my bed sheets. And then I just got back from the gym. Like I'm, I'm kind of killing it, but I'm really hungry now. But I've talked about it before. Like I can't enjoy a meal, like fully enjoy a meal while disgusting. Like while I'm all sweaty and nasty like this. Something I always think about is, have you ever guys ever been to a gym that had a nutrition kind of center where they would serve you meals and stuff like that after your workout? I never understood how people could be marinating in their own sweat and just sit there and eat their chicken and rice and broccoli. It just blew my mind. Uh, but I am really hungry, so we're having a snack. I'm obsessed with these chips. I like these better than Pringles. I said it. Post-workout chips, baby. I want a bagel. You know, when I'm in a pinch, you know who we check with? Pinterest. Pinterest for when you're in a pinch. All right, so there's this egg sandwich. It has tomato, lettuce, egg, bacon, and cheese. So it's like a BLT, but with egg. But then they added pesto. That sounds kind of fire. Let's try that. Is it too loud? It might be too loud. I'm sorry. I always have the air fryer going on in the background. I'm sorry about the air fryer. I'm making waffle fries. I want waffle fries. And then we do tomato. Okay, not too shabby. I wonder how this is gonna taste. I don't think I've ever had like pesto with egg before. That looks pretty fire. I think it will be good. I don't see how it can't be good. Turn around for two seconds and Kyo has his face in the ketchup. He only had a little amount, thank God. Ooh. Mm, okay. This is so good. This is so good. Hey. It's been a while since I've done one of these talks within one of my videos, but I know you guys enjoy them and honestly, I enjoy doing them too. So if there's anything you want me to talk about in the future, just let me know in the comments below. But for now, I kind of want to talk about something that felt relevant with this particular video and it's how trying to be healthy is what gave me an eating disorder. Now, this might come off as weird and hypocritical in a way, since I'm sure I've said in the past that I promote a quote unquote healthy lifestyle. But when I say that, I'm not giving an exact definition of what a healthy lifestyle is. Health is subjective, but there is still a basic idea of health that I think most people think of when trying to explain what health is exactly. And that, that definition right there is what ruined my life and brought me to one of the lowest points of my life. The whole idea of quote unquote good foods versus bad foods, whatever the hell that means, and clean eating, getting in your micronutrients, eat your however many servings of vegetables and fruit a day, stay away from fried foods, don't have too many sweets, eat six small meals a day to boost metabolism, eat slowly, don't eat out often, but when you do order the quote unquote healthy option, like holy shit. How long is this list of rules? Life is already stressful enough without being consumed with the guilt of eating, I don't know, a cookie right before going to bed. Now, I feel like I need to make a disclaimer before I go further, but I'm only speaking about my experience and how the image of health that was shoved down my throat ruined my life. I'm not saying everyone else goes through this experience and I am not trying to say that being healthy or trying to be healthier is a bad thing. Some people will hear what I'm saying and argue no one says that or of course that's not healthy. But I didn't know that when I was a 16 year old girl who hated herself and would do literally anything to make herself prettier according to society. People did say those things and when a vulnerable self-loathing child hears them, they will take them to heart just like I did. So if you don't promote health, what do you promote? I do promote health, just not a specific definition of health. Health to me is being able to enjoy food without a care in the world. Health to me is eating fried foods and sweets without anxiety and guilt gnawing away at my insides. Health to me is eating whatever I want and not having the overwhelming desire to force it back up my throat. Health to me is being happy and not allowing food to be a source of stress because it never should be. To me, food is one of the only things in life that should never be stressed over. Food 
Food and men. Never stress over a man, babe. I feel like people will say that they promote health when in reality there's just this underlying fat phobia in their tone and the way that they say certain things. Because sometimes the words that they say and then the way that they say it, you can tell that they don't actually care about your health. They'll criticize the way that you eat and the way that you live and say that they care about you when that's just a lie, that's just manipulative. Because you know in reality that if you had a quote unquote nice body according to society or according to even that person they probably wouldn't have said anything if you continue to maybe never really work out or continue to eat fast food because you look good they're only saying this because in their eyes you're fat which we should all know by now that fat or skinny does not equate to healthy or unhealthy i've told you this before and i will say it again but you saved my life you you did that you saved me and I bet you didn't even try. It didn't take you being a certain size. It didn't take you eating a certain way. It didn't take you exercising however many times a week. You saved my life just by being you. Your existence on this earth matters regardless of what you eat or what size you are or how much you weigh. You matter to me because without you, I can't even begin to imagine all of the things I would have missed out on if I had fully given up. I make the videos I do and talk about the things I talk about, not only because I care about you, but also because I want to repay you for what you've done for me. You helped me, so I hope in some way I'm able to return that favor. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Hello friends, I look like an egg. So for dinner, I'm gonna be making mac and cheese with ground beef with tomato paste. I feel like I've made it before, but if I haven't, I highly recommend it. It's so good. It reminds me so much of, okay, so a meal I used to have a lot when I was growing up is Easy Mac with those little like bacon bits that you put on salads and stuff like that. I used to mix those together and I had like four of those a day. I like a good amount of butter in there. I and mean, you can just add as much cheese as you want. You don't have to mix cheeses. I just think it's better that way. Once you mix cheeses, you just don't go back. Already added salt, now we're gonna add pepper. Where's my pepper? Garlic powder and cayenne powder. You add as many spices as you like. Ta-da! Yeah, so what we're having for breakfast today, guys. What is this lighting? Why does it look so yellow? Like, yes, I am a yellow girl, but this is a little ridiculous. If I just turn off all the lights, I'm just in the dark. Honestly, that looks better. Guess what we're having? We're having oatmeal. To be honest, I wanted a bagel, but I, I apparently already ate all my bagels. I didn't even know. Oatmeal with banana and peanut butter, classic. Also, this cardigan is from Etsy. This top is from Yes Style. Yo, no. You know how to make oatmeal taste better? Not use protein powder. That's something I've learned. Like I used to only have oatmeal if it had protein powder in it. I mean, if you like it, props to you. You know, you do you boo. And I like it too. It's not like I dislike it, but having oatmeal without protein powder, top tier, much better. I like just started thinking about this recently, not having diet tongue. I started thinking about this because I've been eating oatmeal more recently. Not having diet tongue is crazy. If you don't know what diet tongue is, it's when you're like hardcore starving yourself and you need like either bad things, like things that don't taste good, start to taste good, or you need an excess amount of other flavors. Like I used to have to add so much extra stuff to my oatmeal for it to taste good, like for me to really get the flavors, if that makes sense. I don't know, like, do you guys remember like Walden Farm syrup? What the f was in that sh I don't even know. But I used to have to add that. I used to have to add like a bunch of salt, all that zero calorie stuff. I used to have to add that to my oatmeal, like even flavored oatmeal like this one. But not having diet tongue, like I can just make that and I'm like, oh, this is good. I don't know if anyone else can like relate to what I'm saying, but it's actually crazy. And you know, I haven't been starving myself for years. You know, we've been recovered for quite a bit now. Go me. You know, I like stopped having oatmeal and like having oatmeal again makes me realize how much I used to add to it. Oat milk is the best milk. Change my mind. Someone that doesn't like oat milk. That is such a red flag for me. You know, if I was dating someone that had a, uh, and they ever cheated on me. Just kidding. Peanut butter. And then I'm gonna stream. Follow me on Twitch if you aren't following me on Twitch. Please and thank you. I also used to try so hard to make my oatmeal really pretty. I don't have the energy. 
or the time or the patience for that anymore. Throw some banana and peanut butter in it and call it a day. That's beautiful. Bread and butter, baby. Just finished streaming. We're doing post-stream instant noodles. I only have one more. I have this one and one more. I went through three boxes of this ramen just, just so fast. Let's go. Mmm. I also ate some chips before that I didn't film. You know, like the barbecue Pringle looking chips. Are you guys proud of me? I haven't ordered out once. Maybe I should do another video where I eat like your recipes for a week. You guys be down for that? Like eating my subscribers recipes for a week. If you want me to, leave a recipe down below that you want me to make. For dinner, we're having the raboki, black bean raboki. Listen. Your girl thought long and hard, like a whole two minutes of thinking long and hard about what I could have for dinner that isn't raboki. I just couldn't come up with anything. That's what I'm making, which means I'm also done with all my ramyun. <laughs> Got the food right here. Black bean raboki, shiitake mushrooms, and egg. I like sliced up some just egg in there. Mmm, the egg with this is really good. Mmm. There she is. Keeping me company. Mmm, focus, lighting. But for dessert, I'm having a cookie that I heated up in the microwave. And to be honest, I really wanted a... Mmm. Never mind, I take it back. I was about to say I really wanted a mango popsicle and I only am eating the cookies right now because they might go bad. But no, this, this is it. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. I went to the gym, went to the gym, took a shower, took a fat nap, and now it's 3.40 p.m. But I, I'm like in the middle of editing this video and I noticed that, so this is what I use to connect um, my SD card into my laptop and I noticed that my memory card was missing and I started freaking out because I like put it in here. I guess like while I was napping, my cats had ripped this out of my laptop and it was just on the floor. And I was like, okay, it's fine as long as the wire is not broken. But my memory card was missing and I started panicking because I thought one of them ate it. I'm sweating. Oh my God, that was so scary. For my first meal of the day, 3.40 p.m., I'm gonna have the kind of like my spin on the rice and salmon thing on TikTok. This is a very simple meal, which is why it's great. So I use tuna because I'm not aware if there's such thing as a uh, vegan salmon. Guys, wait, you add the rice, you add the fish of your choice. It's typically salmon. And then I add soy sauce, add sesame oil, add some fish sauce. I have this kimchi mayo. Remember the last thing I'm gonna add to it is uh, sesame seeds. They always go crazy whenever I make this specific dish. I guess it actually smells like tuna. I don't know, they never really get like this with anything else. And then I just like to eat it with kimchi and some seaweed right here. And you eat it like kimbap. No, I wasn't recording. Did I just blow on my kimchi? You don't even need the seaweed if you don't want it. Like you could just eat it like this. Kyo, stop. If you slice up some egg or fried an egg on top, that would be really good. Hmm. I look like a wreck. That's fine. I'm making dinner now. I'm actually not that hungry, but my friend and I are gonna watch this anime. It's called Tokyo Avengers. I don't know if you guys have watched it. I feel like it's pretty popular right now, but oh my God, it's so good so far. We are on episode 12, I believe. I think that's where we stopped last night. So I think we're gonna be able to complete it tonight. I'm so excited, highly recommend. So far, I really, really like it. it hasn't been a bad episode yet, but yeah, for dinner, I'm making pesto pasta. But yeah, pesto pasta, Parmesan cheese, and meatballs. And there it is. There's another meatball. Like underneath, you can kind of see it. Okay, I'm in my office now. So I can watch Tokyo Avengers. Is this not an ideal night? Mm. Does anyone else eat their pasta like this? Where they put the noodles on the fork? Good morning, or uh, good afternoon. So I'm about to start streaming soon. I decided to treat myself this morning to an iced matcha latte. Iced matcha latte with oat milk, obviously. Wow. I'm gonna be having some like granola cereal for breakfast. I'm getting so much use out of this bowl. I keep using this bowl, it's like the perfect size. I'm so good. 
She's been extra clingy lately for some reason. Out of nowhere, she got hella clingy. Slow blinks make my day. You guys know about this pug on TikTok where it's like a bones or a no bones day? It's this pug on TikTok. I can tell you what kind of day you're gonna have. And I think it's just fantastic. Is it a bones day or is it a no bones day? I can't peel him out of his bed. His density and his mm, No bones day. I mean, you take care of yourself today. But it's a no bones day. Not saying that's gonna be a bad day. But you know, we're just gonna chill. Also, I finished watching Tokyo Avengers. That anime messed me up. Final meal of the week of this video. And I have this massive pot of noodles. I was gonna transfer it and put it in a proper bowl. But I was like, Ugh, I'm too lazy for that. Um, but just bok choy, shiitake mushrooms. Oh my God, lost myself for a second. And noodles. And then the broth is just from one of my ramians when I was making an apoki. I had like an extra soup packet. So that's what the broth is. And then I just laced up some, some just egg in here. I went through so many of these just egg patties. These noodles are cooked perfectly. I'm amazing. Hot. Will I ever learn to not burn my mouth? I don't think so. And now on to dessert. I always feel like I look so rough at the end of the night. Oh my God. We're actually ending the night at a somewhat decent time. I feel like I've lately been having dessert at like one in the morning, but it's 10.45 PM. I'm going to be having a popsicle. The flavor is called Caribbean mix, I think. That is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know you can give it a thumbs up to let me know, but um, if you hated it, you can let me know by giving it a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. And I will keep telling you guys this until you believe it. I will keep telling you guys this even when you do believe it, okay? Because you deserve to be reminded. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.